Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, this is another in our Divi for Beginners series and you can find the link to that playlist down below this video. Today, we're gonna to look at Parallax image backgrounds. If I scroll down this page, we've got a section there with an image, the UFO there. And if I scroll up and down, you'll notice that it's moving at a different rate from the front of the site where we're scrolling. That is called True Parallax. And it's a really nice effect. I apologize if it looks a bit glitchy. It's actually very smooth. My screen recording software may, may glitch it up a bit. If I roll down a bit, we've got some little modules there. I've used the same thing in the background of the modules. You can get some wonderful effects doing that. If I scroll down a little bit further, we've got here what they call CSS Parallax. I like to call that fixed background, but it's also CSS parallax with Divi. And if I roll that up and down, you can see that image in the background is actually not moving at all. It's staying in the same place. That's just a few of the things you can do with the parallax section. You can actually turn a whole page. If I go to this page here, we've got a regular page here. If you wanted to have a parallax image throughout this page, you can do that too. And I'll show you how to do that in a little while. So we're going to turn this page into something like this where you've got that fixed background or CSS parallax as they call it in the whole background there. So let's get started. Let's add a new page. And we've got it parallax. And of course, use the Divi Builder. I'm going to build from scratch. And let's just throw in a couple of modules here. For simplicity, I'm going to use call to actions because they're already populated. I'm going to go down to the link here. Button won't show up unless you put a link for the button in just down below. We're on the content tab here. Great. I'll save that. Let's just clone that. I'll put one next door as well. Okay, I'm going to make this section just a little bit bigger so we've got a bit of scrolling room here. So let's perhaps make it full page. To do that, I want to go into the section. You can do this with anything to make it full page. I'm going to go to the design, sizing. Where it says height here, I'm going to put 100 VH, 100 VH for viewable height. That section is now the whole of our screen height. It doesn't matter what device we're looking at it on. It'll always be full screen. And while we're in the design, let's just push these modules down a little bit with a bit of padding. So we'll go up, we'll close our sizing. Spacing is just down below. Here's a padding. Let's maybe give it 250 pixels on the top. Great. That will just give us a bit of scrolling room to demonstrate this. Okay, well, let's add an image to the background of our section here, blue tab for a section. And I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, you can use this on a section or a row and a module. Let's add a background image. Now the image you want to put in your background wants to be fairly big because it's got to cover this whole screen. Just bear that in mind. Let's use a little alien fella right there. Okay, at the moment we've just got a regular image in there. If I scroll up and down, it's going to stay exactly where it is. Once you've put your image in, if I just expand this module, all Divi modules have a little handle at the side. You can drag it, make it as big or as small as you need. But if we look down below the image, make sure you're on the background image tab in the backgrounds. We've got a little button there that says use parallax effect. If we turn it on, if you look down below, it says true parallax there. So that picture is now moving at a different rate. I do it slowly, you should be able to see it a lot easier. That's the true parallax that we mentioned before. If I change it here, click on it. It'll stay exactly where it is when we scroll up and down. Now, there's one thing that you want to bear in mind when you're using these parallax images. You can't use the blend mode. That doesn't work when we've got parallax on. For instance, if I turn this off, I put a color in the background, choose a purple and go back over here to my background image we roll down background image blend if I want to blend that purple with our image we can do it right here 
and you can get some wonderful effects. And we covered that in our background video, which is in the beginner's playlist down below. But you can't do that if you enable parallax. If I put that back on there, you'll see we lose that purple. And like I say, you can use this on a row, on a module. So let's do that. Let's go into the row itself. Green tab for a row right here. Background's always under content. Let's add an image in the background of this one too. And I'll throw that one in. And it's behind there, as you can see. Let's give it a bit of space over in design spacing i'm going to give it perhaps 30 pixels all around so that module's not buffered up against the side there just put in the 30 it'll put in the pics hit the chain it'll do the opposite side and we'll do the same for left and right and as you can see we've now got a bit of space there great in fact let's up that to 130 top and bottom so you can see what's going on a little bit better and now if we go back to our content tab down to background again you can choose whether you want to make that a parallax image or not now if we roll up and down the site we've got fixed background on the alien chap in the background there we've got true parallax on the one behind the row and of course you can add it to a module as well if you want to let's go into one of these modules again backgrounds always under content We'll pop a little image in there. And let's use True Parallax on that one also. And we'll do the same for the next one. Content, background. And True Parallax again. And if we roll this page up in there, We've got all kind of movement going on there. Let's just say this and check it out on the front end. Little purple button. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the visual builder. And there we have it. I mean, I wouldn't use this, but this is just demonstrating some of these parallax features for you. We've got the little alien fixed position or CSS parallax in the background. We've got true parallax on both the modules and the row itself. And as you can see, while I'm rolling up and down, they're scrolling up and down. Like I say, really, really eye-catching feature to have on your site. And as I mentioned before, you can do this to a whole page if you want to. For instance, I've got a page here. If you wanted a parallax image behind this whole page, really easy to do. Let's enable the visual builder. Let's go into our top section right here. Blue tab for the section. Go down to background. Let's choose a background image. There's already one in there, but I'm going to use my little alien chat for this today. We're going to have it spread throughout the page. So I'm going to click on the image. We'll put in our little alien fellow there. Now, if you're going to do this over the page, it's going to work best with CSS parallax or fixed background. So I'm going to flip the switch to on. And I'm going to flip it to CSS. So that fellow should stay exactly where he is. Now, if we want to extend this to the whole page, we can go down, we can add it to each of these sections if you want to, but I'll show you a little trick right now that's really good. Where it says background up here, I'm going to right click just beside it. I'm going to say extend background styles. I want it to be this whole page and this is going to overwrite every section background on this page. This page, don't want to do my footer and header. I'm going to hit the extend button. Bingo. Let's just save our changes. We've now got that little alien fella in the whole background of our page here. And it's seamlessly going from one section to the other. I think that's quite a cool effect. Used to do that a lot many years ago. Now, if you're writing, it's a little hard to read. We can go in there. And let's change it to perhaps a light color. If you just go to the little pencil associated with it, click on it, it'll take you right to the styling. We change that to white. 
And again, you can do exactly the same thing once you've got that white. If we roll down, I've still got a few here with darks. So what we can do is exactly the same thing. Right click next to the body text. Extend body text styles. I want to do the whole page. Extend. If I roll back up now, all that writing is white there, which is just exactly what we wanted. Now, some of it to me is still getting a bit lost in there. I guess this is not really parallax, but if you have pr trouble with writing getting lost over a bit busy picture, you can go into any section or row and give it a bit of a background. For instance, we've got a row here, the green tab. Let's go down to background. I'll give it a black background. I'm going to click on the color field itself. Just left click, variegated slider. I'm going to pull that down so we can see our little fella behind, but we can still read that writing nicely because it's got a bit of a shade behind it. Down to me, that doesn't look too good. I don't want it buffered up against the side. So I'm going to give it a bit of space with padding. So let's go over to our design tab. Always find spacing there, padding. I'm going to give my 30 pixel round, just put in the 30, hit the chain. Same for left to right. And there we go. That looks a bit better to me. You can read that writing and think a lot better. You could do it on just a single column if you wanted to, if you wanted to leave that one alone. And obviously you could do similar for any of these down here if you thought perhaps you were losing those. So there you go, guys. There's a basic overview of how to use parallax backgrounds with a Dewey theme and it's a really nice little feature let's just save our changes make sure this is all going to work on the front end and exit the visual builder and there we have it we've got our little fixed background or css parallax background throughout our little page here and that's a really nice feature to add to your site So there you go, guys. There's just a little overview of using parallax sections and backgrounds with a Divi theme. Some really great options there. Play with them. Have fun. You can get some wonderful things going. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video like this one. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.